And today I'm doing a super fun challenge tag. So this is a challenge tag that's actually sponsored or coordinated by um, Christie's Corner. So make sure you go and check out her channel. I'll make sure it's linked down in the description down below. But this is a tag video with a bunch of other YouTubers and it is the ultimate Disney uh, coffee mug challenge tag. So I'm gonna be sharing all of my Disney inspired coffee mugs that I have and one not Disney coffee mug with you. So if you're new to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we do a lot of fun things like this um, and a lot of just fun family content and Disney content and just everyday magic and joy and adventures. So make sure you're subscribed. Thanks so much for checking us out and let's get started. I got All right, well, this challenge has a bunch of different questions inspired to share all the different coffee mugs that we have in our collections. So make sure you check out everybody else's channels. They're all linked down in the description down below. There's a bunch of people that are participating in this challenge and it's just super fun to see everybody's coffee mug collection. So question number one says, Mickey is a classic. Show a mug with a Mickey on it or a classic looking mug. So for this one, I thought this was probably my most classic Mickey looking mug. Um, it's an Americana Mickey Starbucks one. Um, Mark actually picked this up on one of our 4th of July visits that we took when we were down in the parks. And I just love it. It's really fun and it's really festive for the summer and for the 4th of July. Um, and it has a Mickey on it. So I think this is like classic Mickey um, in my mind and just classic Americana. So this one's really fun. Um, so I thought that was good for classic Mickey. If I was doing just a classic looking mug, um, this is a new one that I just added to my collection for Mother's Day actually. Um, it's from Box Lunch um, and it's a Winnie the Pooh mug and it's so cute. It has a little honey paw and the honey bees up there and it says some paths are destined to cross. And I'm just a strong believer in that, that um, life is a journey and that sometimes our paths cross with people that are meant to be in our lives. And I love Winnie the Pooh. I love of like classic vintage Winnie the Pooh. If you haven't ever actually read like the classic Winnie the Pooh stories, they're just so sweet. And I love this one because it also, they're on the bridge doing poo sticks, which is probably my favorite, all time favorite Winnie the Pooh story is when they go and throw sticks over the bridge and have the races with their poo sticks. So I thought this is definitely a classic looking mug. All right, so question two asks, a mug fit for a princess show a mug that is reminiscent of a princess so i'm not a huge disney princess fan um it's not that i don't like the disney princesses i just don't know that i'm like super into the disney princess like thing um i love belle she's my favorite princess um but we have this mug that we actually got when we went for the disneyland 60th anniversary celebration and I thought as far as like Disney princesses go, this is probably the most Disney princess mug I have. Um, it shows the whole evolution of like Disneyland and just Disney history through animation um, over the last 60 years. Um, and well actually probably 60 plus because Snow White's on here and that was the very first Disney film. But it has almost all the Disney princesses on it. It's got Snow White, uh, it's got Sleeping Beauty because of course it's Sleeping Beauty Castle. It even has Rapunzel and Flynn Rider in the Tangled Tower. So um, I thought this was probably the most like princessy looking mug that I had. Plus it's just one of my favorites too. I, the going for the 60th anniversary is probably one of our most magical Disneyland memories. So it was before we were vlogging. We do have some vlog, like some kind of vlog footage from when we went. We documented it. Um, so maybe someday I'll have to do a 60th anniversary video because that's definitely one of my favorite favorite Disney memories all right question three says Queens love extravagant things show your most extravagant mug 
So I don't have a lot of extravagant mugs, um, but this is definitely the most like obnoxious kind of like crazy mug that I have. Um, and I actually got this on the opening day of the Disney stores inside of Target because we actually had a Target really close to us, just about like 15, 20 minute drive from us um, that got one of the Disney stores. So I just thought this was like very, um, it was a good way to commemorate the day because this mug looks a lot like the um, spinning Mickey head that they have to mark the Target Disney stores inside the store. So this is definitely the most flashy. I don't know if you can really see it on camera, um, but it's very iridescent and just really pretty. It's not the easiest one to wash. Um, it's not dishwasher safe, so it has to be hand washed, so I really only use it on special occasions. So from that standpoint, it's pretty extravagant to have a coffee mug that you can't wash and is very painful to store. So this is definitely my most extravagant Disney mug. All right, question number four says, you can't have a Disney movie without a sidekick. Show a mug that reminds you of any sidekick. So. I thought this one was appropriate. I actually got this as a birthday gift from my team at work this year and it's BB-8. And BB-8 is like the ultimate sidekick, really. I mean, you know, he is always there and all the droids in the Star Wars movies really are like the ultimate like sidekick wingman. Like they're always saving everybody's butts. So I think that this is the ultimate Disney sidekick mug. So, and I just love it. I think it's super fun. And it's actually one of Wally's favorite mugs to do his hot cocoa out of. So BB-8, ultimate sidekick. All right, number five says, characters have a large personality. Show either your largest mug or a mug that reminds you of your favorite Disney character. So this is probably my largest like mug that I have. So it's actually the ceramic. Um, these are the Starbucks ones that they came out. They're like the ceramic tumblers. Um, and I love this one because it has Mickey Mouse. This was the very first round of the Starbucks ceramic tumblers that came out. Um, and it has Mickey Mouse and it's the all the like small world in it. So Mickey's definitely one of my favorite characters. You gotta love classic Mickey. I even have my Mickey earrings in. <laughs> Um, so I think that one is probably, and it's definitely my largest mug. I mean, it holds the most coffee of all the mugs that I have. And this is actually my go-to mug. Like I use this probably every single day during the week for work. So, um, I love these. I have the Disney California Adventure one as well. And then I also got the Christmas one this year because I couldn't resist it, or I guess technically last year. Um, but I couldn't resist it cause it was just too fun. Um, but I only ever did the Disneyland ones. I never did the Disney World ones and I kind of want to, but then I'd have to store them somewhere. So that's my largest. All right. Number six says, not everyone is crazy about Disney. Show your favorite non-Disney mug. So this is definitely my favorite non-Disney mug. Um, it's just very special and sentimental to me. Um, this was sent to me as a Christmas gift from my best, best friend from childhood. Um, we went to school together and we've just always stayed in contact and she lives out in California now. And so it says, friends forever, never apart, maybe in distance, but never at heart. And so it has the little Colorado state and California state and then the connection between the two. So this is probably my ultimate favorite non-Disney mug that I have. Um, it's just really fun to enjoy a hot beverage from this and think about my bestie out in California. So I just thought that was the cutest gift when she sent that to me. She sends the most thoughtful gifts. All right, number seven says, location, location, location. Show a mug that you got while traveling or that has a destination on it. So this is one of my favorite like destima destination mugs that we have. It's from the Disney Boardwalk um, and it was actually given to us by our really good friend, Promise Hope. So if you don't already watch Promise's YouTube channel, you gotta go check her out because she's just so much fun. Um, and she's just the sweetest person in the entire world. Um, so we actually took a trip down to Disney World and stayed at the boardwalk for the first time and Promise stayed with us on that trip. And on our very last day before we were checking out, she had gone down to just do some little shopping and she came back to the room and had 
bought us these souvenirs to commemorate our trip and so she got us this Disney Boardwalk mug and a pin and it just was so sweet and I just love drinking out of it because it reminds me of that trip and the fun that we had and we can't wait to get back down there and see Promise again soon because it's been way too long. So um, this is definitely one of my favorites and I think it's the only resort mug that I have and it's just, it's just a fun one because it really does encompass the boardwalk so well with Goofy doing his tricks and Donald being super annoyed and Pluto in his little dapper hat. So it's such a cute one for the boardwalk hotel. All right, number eight says, park hopping fun. Show a mug you either got in a park or reminds you of something in a park. So I think this is like the ultimate Disney parks mug. And really for park hopping, it's perfect. So this is our Walt Disney World monorail mug and we fight over this one all the time because it's definitely one of our favorites and our friend actually found it when we were on a trip um it was in epcot in the little um oh my gosh what's that called the port when you come in the back way through epcot over by france um it's like their port um port gift shop that they have over there. Um, so anyway, it's a really great gift shop. We found like probably our most unique and coolest Disney souvenirs in that shop. So if you haven't ever stopped there, um, it's kind of like you have to like be like you're going out of the park, like you're gonna leave Epcot going the back way, um, but it's like the best spot. They have like the most unique souvenirs there. Um, so we found this one and what I love about it is that it says, por favor mantengas alejada de la puertas. So it's got the a monorail saying, please, stand clear of the doors in Spanish and I love it because it's the one phrase every Disney fan knows in Spanish inside and out so it just was so perfect um, and it's one of our favorite things to say when we're on the monorail um, and then it has the Walt Disney World on the inside so this is definitely probably one of our most coveted and favorite Disney mugs that we have and definitely embodies park hopping because you can hop on the monorail and you can hop to all the resorts and you can hop from Magic Kingdom over to Epcot. So ultimate Disney parks park hopping mug. All right, number nine says, favorites are treated special. Show your favorite mug that you haven't already shown. Um, so obviously we have a lot of favorites, but one that we haven't shown yet um, and one that we actually just got um, is the new ABC series that they just released. Um, and I was so excited that they had the I, which is the first initial of my name. Um, so we went traditional with the initials and I is for It's a Small World. And I just love it so much. I think it's so cute. I love the ABC series. I has been sold out for a long time, so I was super excited to get it. Um, and it tells you on the bottom, I is for It's a Small World, ABC Disney, and they are dishwasher safe. And they're a nice big mug too, which I really like. Um, and as long as we're doing the ABC mugs, we also got M for Mark and it is Main Street USA. So we had some really good initials for the ABC mugs. I was super excited about both of these. So M is for Main Street USA. We wanted to get the W2, it's for World Showcase for Walter, um, but it has been out of stock. So I keep trolling the website and hoping it's gonna pop up. But so far Shop Disney has not had it in stock. All right, well the last question, number 10 says, to the nines, show your top nine mugs you haven't already shown. If you don't have, a if you don't have nine mugs, show what you have and rank them. Well, at first when I read that question, I thought, uh, that's a lot of coffee mugs. Nobody has that many coffee mugs, which obviously we do, because this isn't even all the mugs we have. But then I realized I had the perfect thing for nine mugs. So a long time ago, uh, Starbucks started the You Are Here series, and we'd collected a couple of them just traveling um, to various places, but when they released them for Disney parks, we went crazy. So we had to get all of them and we had to get the original series, although we don't have the original, original um, Epcot one because that one was, I can't remember what monorail color it was. I remember it was the monorail that got in that accident um, or somebody passed away. So then they discontinued it and changed it. Um, so we don't have the original one of that, but we have like still the original series. So we hang them in our kitchen and we put them in order by which the parks opened. So we have 
the Disneyland one, which I love because it's pink, like Sleeping Beauty Castle. It has It's a Small World on it. And it even has the Disneyland train, which I love. And it has the Matterhorn. So I love this one. I think probably this one is my favorite of the series. Um, so that was the first park to open. And then the next park to open was the Magic Kingdom. And this one's pretty great too. It's got Space Mountain on it. It's got the teacups, which we love. Cinderella's Castle has the Haunted Mansion on it and Pirates. So this is a great one too. Um, so that is the Magic Kingdom. And then we've got the purple Epcot mug. So it's obviously got Spaceship Earth on there. And what else is on there? Oh, and then it's got a bunch of the world showcase on there as well. Mexico and China. So that's a great one too, and I love the purple. Oh, and it even has Soren. I already saw that on there, but I guess I never really computed that that was Soren. And the America Pavilion in France. Super cool. So I love the Epcot one too. I think Epcot and Disneyland are probably my two favorite in the series. And then we've got Disney's Hollywood Studios. So you got the Tower Hotel, and you've got the Bakery, the Mouse Ears Tower, the original icon of Hollywood Studios, or MGM, and the little clapperboard. And I think this is like that gateway, um, and then the Chinese Theater. So that one's awesome as well and then you've got disney's animal kingdom got the tree of life of course you got everest of course and i think this is like um uh, what's the village in there and the um safari giraffes my favorite animal so super cool and last but not least you have Disney's California Adventure. So you've got the Grizzly Mountain, you've got Radiator Springs, the trolley, the Mickey's Fun Wheel, which is now the Pixar Pal Around Wheel, and the Carthay Circle, which is our favorite restaurant in all of Disney's California Adventure, and also where they premiered Snow White, which is what I love about Disney's California Adventure is that it has kind of the Disney original Hollywood historical nature to it. So Carthay Circle is our favorite place to eat and I love the history behind it as well. So Disney's California Adventure. All right, so that's six. I have three more in this series. We haven't ever done the updated um, You Were Here Disney mugs because we just love the original so much, but they just came out with a new one, a new series, and we had to get it. So they just came out with the Star Wars You Are Here mugs, and these are so great. So they have Dagobah, of course, so awesome, with Yoda on it, in the swamp, and you got R2-D2, and you got Luke doing his training in the swamp, it's so great. And there's Darth Vader, of course, when he has his visions. And there's even Yoda on Luke's back. Classic, love it. So of course we had to get Dagobah, the Been There series Star Wars collection. So awesome. Okay, so we got Dagobah. And Hoth, of course you gotta have Hoth. So you've got your AT-AT. You've got your Tauntaun, you got your Wampa. So awesome, I love it. It's so good. Ugh, I'm still like in all of these. And it says your Tauntaun will freeze before you reach the first marker. It's so great, I love it. I love the Hoth one. And then this is my favorite one of the Star Wars Been There series. I just love that it's like the pink and the purple Cloud City. It's so cool. Got your stormtroopers on there. Got the landing platform. Of course, you get out Chewie on there and C3PO, all in pieces. And Lando. Of course, you gotta have Lando. And you've got Han, all frozen in carbonite. And the famous Darth Vader 
I am your father. So awesome. So great. I think this is my favorite. I like Buzz Pen a lot. So those are all of our Disney coffee mugs that we have and one not Disney mug. So we'd love to see your collection too. If you want to do a video, um, just make sure you tag this challenge and let us know that you have one too. We'd love to see what you guys have in your coffee mug collection and make sure you check out everybody else's videos linked down in the description down below and leave down in the comments. Let me know. Are you a coffee drinker? If you are, what's your favorite coffee mug? Or maybe you just like a hot beverage in the morning, but what's your favorite coffee mug that you have in your collection? Do you have way too many like we do? We're running out of room. I think we need to uh, maybe do some work on our cabinets again. And now I just realized I have to put all of these away. <sighs> All right, well, I'm gonna go work on that. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate you guys being here. We love when you guys leave us comments and thank you guys so much for the support. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and we'll see you again soon. We're still celebrating every day in May. Um, slow down a little bit maybe, but um, we're still celebrating little things every day and just trying to share as much of that with you guys as we can. So thank you guys so much for watching. This is the wonderful Willa Walter and we love you just the way you are. Bye!